Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Pisces, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, love, oh, Clarity, Guidance. Okay. So we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the Eight of Cups. We've got the Hierophant, Taurus energy. And we've got the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean energy. What other messages do we have here for my Pisces, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. So we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. We have the Two of Swords, the Five of Cups in the reverse, the Emperor in the reverse. The Four of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Under the deck, we have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. So we've got the Emperor to the Empress, but the Emperor's in the reverse. So Pisces, my loves, what I'm feeling here Pisces, there's a sense of I'm giving to a situation that I really want to work, but I just know it's not going to work. Does that make sense? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like um, some of you may be dealing with someone who's in prison, possibly, um, or stuck somewhere. Okay. But I'm feeling here like you feel like. You really, like, there's a sense of I really want this to work, but I just know there's no way that this is actually going to work. I know that I'm going to, you know, give to this person or I should just give very little to this because eventually this person is going to cut me off and they're not even going to care. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, now, Pisces, this could be your person feeling this way. Let's not forget, okay? It could be that, you know, your person really wants things to work with you, but there's a feeling of, I'm just not going to bother giving to the situation because Pisces is going to leave me anyway, okay? Um, so someone here may be giving very little to a connection because they feel like they are, as much as they want this to work and be successful, there's a sense of, oh, this person's just going to cut me off and walk away from me without a care in the in the world. Like this person won't even feel bad. They won't feel guilty. They're just going to cut me off and leave. I got to be honest here. I don't think that it's true. I'm sorry. I don't think it's true. I think that with the Hierophant and the High Priestess, I feel like I feel like this connection is divinely guided. I feel like it's very spiritual. Uh, what I also feel is that you're not operate, operating from your high, whoever's thinking this way is not operating from their higher self. Because I feel like we've got one person that's very spiritual, trusting in God, trusting in the divine. Uh, someone here is more spiritually ascended. And the other person with the emperor in the reverse and the four of cups, um, is more in this energy of feeling um, because they feel insecure, unhappy, dissatisfied. It's leading them to want to control situations. OK, and I feel that, you know, with the five of swords, it's a lot of emotional outbursts, very nasty energy, maybe very abusive energy. Um, but I feel like it's not necessary because there's commitment here. 
Do you understand? There's commitment here. And, you know, if someone just saw the truth of the matter, that someone truly is committed and someone truly does want success here, and that the way someone's acting is they're blocking their own wish fulfillment. Do you see what I'm saying? They're blocking their own wish fulfillment. So it's kind of like this energy of everything is okay, everything's going to be successful, everything is fine, but someone is allowing, I have to say, um, someone might want to look into Joyce Meyer. She has amazing books on how to control your thoughts, okay? But we have one person here that is operating from a lower vibrational energy. And there's no real reason for this person to be acting this way because there is commitment in this connection. Um, they're just operating from a place of fear, operating from a place of being unhappy, unsecure, unsafe. Someone feel they're afraid. Someone's afraid of rejection. Someone's afraid of this person's going to cut me off and leave me. It's a fear of abandonment, really. This is what this is. Um, someone is afraid that they're going to put their work and their time and their energy into a situation and they're just going to be left for dead, like a dog. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, it's it's operating from baser, lower emotions. Um, Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Pisces, please? Can you tell me about the Seven of Swords? We've got the Justice card, Libra Energy. Can you tell me about the Six of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles, please. And the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. And the Sun, Leo Energy. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords. So look at this, Pisces. Look at what you have going on. Spirit is telling you, there you are, Piscean energy under the deck. Spirit is telling you that, listen, no one's going to steal anything from you because what you put out in this world is what's going to come back to you. Let me just make that clear, you know, from the get-go. You're never robbed, Pisces. No one's ever going to steal anything from you because if you give $10 to one person and they run away with it, God, the universe is going to bring you back 50 do you understand? Not, nothing that you give is ever a loss, right? And Spirit is saying, stop feeling like you're being taken advantage of or lied to or cheated because it's just good karma. At the end of the day, no matter what happens, you're just racking up good karma, okay? And with the Four of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, you know, there's a sense of I'm really unhappy about giving to this situation because I know I'm not going to get anything back. But with the Sun card and the Three of Pentacles, I mean, if you saw the truth for what it is, this connection is working just fine why are you so in your head you know now again this could be vice versa i don't know but the eight of swords talks about being in a mental prison it talks about you know just yeah, mental torture that you're someone's torturing themselves mentally okay um tell me about this page of pentacles tell me about this page of pentacles the five of cups tell me about the two of swords and the five of wands. Guys, I feel like someone's in this energy of let me give very little to this person because I'm going to end up regretting it. They're going to cut me off and go with the competition. They're going to cut me off for someone else. Tell me about the eight of cups, please. Tell me about the eight of cups, ace of swords and temperance. This person is going to win. They're going to win because they can leave me and not have any feeling or emotion because they never loved me from the beginning. Two of swords under the deck. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like this, like someone is seeing their person as this cold hearted monster that will just leave them for someone else without even a second thought. The king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles and this Five of Cups in the reverse. Why do you think that this person would do that to you? 
do you know for sure that they're going to hold back from you in that way? I don't think that there's any reason. Because this person is coming up as a king of pentacles. They're not coming up as a page. They're not coming up as a knight. The king of pentacles, I mean, right underneath the emperor, that's like the best person you want to have by your side. Okay, so I mean, with with the four of pentacles and the unknown card, why do you think that this person would just pull away from you like that? Do you see what I'm saying? There's a sense of someone here is, has fear. Someone's living in a tremendous amount of fear. Tell me about this hierophant. Tell me about this hierophant. The seven of swords. Tell me about this high priestess. The nine of cups and the two of swords. Someone feels like this commitment is a lie. Someone feels like secrets are being kept, that this person's just going to take their wish fulfillment and cut the... There is a fear of a major fear of abandonment here. The emperor in the reverse and the devil. Capricorn energy. Someone here has some toxic, toxic shit that they need to deal with because um, I feel like someone's not trusting in the divine. They don't have faith. They don't have faith. Now, meanwhile, what they have on their hands is a ten of cups, a four of wands, and a three of pentacles. They have the most beautiful relationship ever on their hands. And if they were if they were seeing things for what they are, clearly with the sun card and the three of pentacles, they would see that. Do you understand? But someone here is, is viewing this connection through these glasses of toxicity, mistrust. Tell me about the four. Someone has a major fear of abandonment. Four of cups and the eight of cups in the reverse. Five of Swords. This person's very back and forth. One minute they're like, you know what? I don't want this relationship. Then they come back. Then I don't want it. Then they come back. Five of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. This person likes to play give and take. One minute I'm giving. One minute I'm not giving. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. And the King of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Energy. So here's the irony. Are you ready? Here's the irony, okay? The irony is that this emperor is back and forth, giving, taking, saying, no, I don't want this. This emperor is afraid that this king of pentacles is going, this king of pentacles energy is going to leave. But the irony is, is that this king of pentacles, king of wands energy is very safe, very secure, very confident in this commitment. And they have not been budged, not one time. This person has been standing there, sitting there, just watching this person go in and out and in and out with their eyebrows all up on their forehead. Like, oh, you're back again. Oh, good. Okay. All right. And you're leaving. Oh, you're leaving again. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I'll see you when you get back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you got one person here that has just been sitting in a chair watching the, I don't know, Pisces, which one you are. Pisces, you are the fish, so I hate to say it, but I think you're the one who may be in and out, okay? <laughs> swimming here, swimming there, darting here, darting there, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's a fear of abandonment, okay? And you love this person, divine feminine, divine masculine. There is a very strong soul tie between you and this person, so it's you're not really ever going to leave. I don't know where that yawn came from. I am so sorry. I have no idea what that was about, but moving on. You're not going to leave this person, or whoever this is isn't really intending on leaving this person. Um, they just are operating from a fear of abandonment. Someone here is just so scared that they are going to be taken advantage of and cut off and left for dead. And, and they're, they're yelling and they're screaming and they're in and they're out and they're coming back and they're giving money, taking away money, making promises, taking back promises. Um, uh, you know, oh, I was going to give you a trip for your birthday, but I think I'm just going to give you a $50 gift card because I know you're just going to take the trip and you're just going to leave me. And you know what I'm saying? Like it's that type of energy. 
It's that type of energy. And I feel like, you know, there is a sense of be careful because you're dealing with someone here who's been very constant, very stable. This person may end up getting tired. Okay, Ten of Swords and uh, the Ten of Wands. Someone here may be, end up getting tired because with the Moon card, they can't seem to understand, like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what makes you feel like I'm going to leave you? I've been here. I'm not... I'm not going anywhere. I've been, I'm the only one, I'm the, the rock in this connection. What makes you feel like I'm ever going to leave you? Spirit, what messages? What messages do we have for my Pisces? Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces. Strong soulmate connection. Yes, this is your soulmate. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And playfulness. Pisces, I feel like what's happening here is... There's maybe some toxic issues from the past that that maybe need to be taken care of here, okay? I feel like there are situations that have happened in someone's life and someone is looking back at these situations and saying, well, if I didn't give or if I didn't trust or if I would have had more self-respect, I wouldn't have gotten hurt, Okay. I feel that this soulmate was brought into your life to show you that, yes, you are meant to have boundaries, but healthy boundaries, okay? Healthy boundaries. I feel like this person is going to be your best friend. I feel like they are going to be someone that you can laugh with. I feel like this is going to lead to an engagement and to a wedding, okay? But I do feel that there is codependency issues here, maybe that stem from childhood or a past life you know maybe both for many of you childhood issues and exes okay um i feel like this toxicity from the past is this soulmate that has come into your life is going to teach you how to heal this okay i feel like there is a need to be optimistic and trust the fact that there is true love here because this person is just like, we've got one person here that's just watching this person come and go and come and go. One day they're gone, one day they're back. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, you know, this energy of like, I don't know why you would think I'm going to leave you. You're the one that's always in and out. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're the one who's coming and going. And I feel like it's stemming from childhood trauma or trauma with an ex. And there's this sense of, you know, there's a fear of abandonment, plain and simple. You're dealing with someone here who has a fear of abandonment. Okay. I love you guys. Oh, let me just pull one of these. Pull one for Pisces, please. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. I feel like you're dealing with someone here, Pisces, that is not just willing to, they don't just want a, a relationship with you. This person, um, you have a strong friendship with this person too. And I feel like this person knows that there is some type of trauma that happened uh, in the other person's life and they want to help heal it. Okay. All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye.